Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is another video in the series of the narcissist baiting and this video is going to be about how a narcissist will bait you into the relationship in the first place. When it comes to a narcissist baiting, they want to entice you so that they can hook you and then once they have trapped you, they go all out to change the games on you. However, they manipulatively change the games on you to distract you from what they are actually doing to you. And if at all possible, a narcissist will switch the games in order to shift the blame over to you for why the narcissist has changed to distract you from what they're actually doing to you. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. So when it comes to the narcissist baiting in the idolization stage of the relationship, they want to entice you into that relationship by selling you an illusion of something that's not going to happen. There are many different manipulative formats a narcissist will use to do this. They will idolize you. They will flatter you, those false compliments. They will love bomb you with the excessive attention, the excessive gifts. They will mirror you. They will get to know all about you. When they ask you what you're looking for in life and you tell them, that gives them all the information they need, that gives them all the ammunition they need to paint that perfect picture with you. When they can then sit there and say, oh, imagine in five years time when we've got this, that and the other to, together, that we've made together, which is usually what you've told the narcissist you would like together. They're going to want to know all about you so that they can mirror you and reflect back to you who you are as a person so that you feel like you've met someone that truly gets you and you truly get them. A narcissist is going to future fake with you. Those in the future, we should, but they're not going to say in the future, they're just going to come at you and go, I think we should look at houses. I think we should move in together. I think we should get married. I think we should to give you that hope Imagine what our lives will be like together. Imagine if we go and visit that place. Imagine what our wedding would be like. Let's start looking at wedding venues to plant those seeds in your mind to give you that false hope and then they will help those seeds grow to entice you into the relationship with them. And once they have you hooked on them, once they have you hooked on the stories they are telling you because you've no evidence to say that they are lying to you, they are deceiving you, they are manipulating you, they are exploiting you because you're taking them at face value and taking them on their word of things that will happen in the future. So in the present, there's nothing to say anything untoward is going on. And once the narcissist has you hooked this is when they trap you. This is when they change the games on you. This is when they fail to deliver on these promises because it's not the things they wanted in the first place. It's things they sold to you to get what they wanted at that present moment in time. Now their needs have been met, they're no longer interested in achieving these things with you because it wasn't their goals. It wasn't their dreams. It wasn't their desires. It's not what they want. They might not even know what they want. And there's plenty of people who don't know what they want in life. However, they don't go around manipulating other people. 
And as soon as you start to try and speak up to the narcissist about these broken promises, they're going to switch the game and start blaming you. They're going to gaslight you with things like, I never said that, even though you know full well they did say that. Or they'll come at you and say, well, maybe next year when we've, when we've got this pay rise, maybe next year when I've got this new job, perhaps in six months' time, they're, they're going to find something to justify why it's not being done, yet rationalise why it's not being done. Yet they do it in a way of, again, it's something in the future. So you can you can almost agree with them. You can almost think, well, yeah, they're making a valid point. And then in six months time, when you call them out again, they're going to come out with another justification, another reason. And when they keep coming out with these justifications and reasons, they're not reasons, they're not justifications. They are excuses because the things they promised, they don't want to deliver. They wanted to bait you into the relationship. They wanted to entice you into the relationship to get you hooked on them. And then once they've got you hooked on them, once they've got you trapped into that relationship, they change the game on you. In the beginning, they put on their admiration face where they're gaining all that positive attention from you. And then as soon as things aren't going the narcissist way, as soon as they're not getting what they wanted, out comes their envious face. And they seek to hurt you. When things aren't going their way, they seek to punish you. So if you don't conform to their demands, they will take promise away from you. And they will find a way to bait you into an argument, to entice you into that argument so that they can blame you for the, not only for the argument but for why they didn't deliver the things they promised to deliver to you. A narcissist doesn't change on you. They don't change who they were. A narcissist sells you an illusion of who you'd like them to be and what you'd like life to be like with them and once they have that illusion sold to you, they change the game on you. They show you who they can also be, yet they switch the game by blaming you for bringing out their ugly side. When you didn't bring out their ugly side, that's who they are. It's all manipulation. It's all game playing. A narcissist can potentially love you in the beginning with that conditional love when they're getting their needs met when they're getting what they want from you more often than not as a narcissist lacks object consistency as soon as they're not getting their needs met as soon as they're not getting what they want from you they cut off those positive emotions towards you they feel resentment towards you and bitterness towards you and anger towards you and envy towards you and they switch the game on you and they provoke these feelings of frustration anger bitterness resentment jealousy within you to get you to react to them and then once you've reacted to them they blame you for your reactions as to why they're not doing all the things they promised they would do with you you on the other hand because you're coming from a genuine place because you promised to do these things with this person you don't want to let them down you don't want to walk away from them because you've been led to believe that you're the ones causing the problems. So if you just work a little bit harder, all will be okay. However, it never will be okay. It's only ever okay when things are going a narcissist way. As soon as things are no longer going the narcissist way, you will have all hell to pay because a narcissist will seek to punish you. They will seek to destroy you. They will seek to bring you down to your knees so that they can feel better about who they are as a person with a lack of empathy to care for who you 
are as a person. As soon as you step away from the narcissist games is when all hell breaks loose because the narcissist feels like they're losing control of, over you. Their, their control of you is slipping out of their fingers, slipping out of their grasp. So they seek to play many games to bait you back in so that they can keep you under their spell. They, they brainwash you and put you in that trance so that they can keep control over you. When it comes to a narcissist, the majority of the things they do is gameplay. Whether they do this intentionally or instinctively depends on the narcissist you're dealing with. If it's intentionally, it's who they are. and They know they're doing it and they don't see a problem with it. If it's instinctively, it's who they are. They don't know what, they don't recognise they're doing it and they, they still don't see a problem with it because when it comes to a narcissist, they believe they're special. They believe they're above others. They believe they're always right and they believe that you are the one causing the problems because they're not going to accept responsibility for their own flaws, their own failings, their own mistakes, their own weaknesses. They will not be held accountable for the things that they do to others, which is why they always look for a scapegoat to blame so that they can get away with their behaviour, so they don't have to face the consequences for their behaviour. When it comes to dealing with toxic people, narcissistic people, you have to stay in your reality. Get to know people for who they are. And when, you sh when they show you who they are, listen to them, pay attention to them, understand that that is who they are as a person and not who you are as a person. Narcissistic people will raise our expectations while lowering our standards. And because they've raised our expectations, we're often the ones that end up feeling disappointed and feeling frustrated. So we have to lower our expectations of other people and raise our standards of the behaviour we will and will not accept from other people. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please add those into the comments. If you are looking for more information, I do have an online guide available, which is to give you more understanding and help with overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. And the link to that will be in the description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link will also be in the description. Thank you very much for listening. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.